Okay, so if you have some sticky tips, uh, one suggestion is that you just grab hold of them in a bundle and open them up with this, uh, like a dog comb or a flick you can use. I flick the ends open with my flicker. You can use a dog brush. And you just open those tips up. Some of the dirt will fall out. Turn them over, open them up. And I'd like to open them up a little bit because I want to spin a uh, finer yarn. I, I want to make it smooth. But look at how it's opening it up nicely. And this might be enough for you to use. Otherwise, we have a couple of other suggestions for you. I wanted to share a little tip with you. These are my bundles, 32 grams, one ounce of fiber. When I have a beautiful fiber, I like to sit and pick each lock out and bunch them up like this. I put an elastic around it once to hold it together. It's fairly loose, so it's not squishing it, so there's no chance of it felting. So, when I have it in this bunch, I will fill either my small salad spinner or my larger one that we, Virginia and I shared where we did a washing video from start to finish with the larger salad spinner. So what I'll do is I can fit three of these bunches into this small salad spinner. But if you use the large one, you can fit many more, at least probably a dozen or more. So I'll put it in the salad spinner. I let it soak, I will rinse it, and take it out, and this way it's rinsed only once and I'm keeping a little bit of the grease so that I can experience that spinning it because, as you know, we love to spin raw and natural. After it comes out of the salad spinner, I'll snip this with a scissor and then spread out the locks. These have just come out of the salad spinner. Now, look at how wonderful, by washing it in the bunch like that, it has kept its integrity. You can see the crimp, the tips are still there, which I like because I, I, when I'm spinning, I like to leave out those tiny little curls. So the crimp is there, the color variation is there, and it's kept its integrity completely. So that's my salad spinner bundle washing tip from Shepherd's Talk. One more little uh, demonstration I guess is if you want to just do a small bunch lay them out in your hand with the cut side on one side and the and the tip on the other grab them firmly in your hand like this these I'm just going to rinse. You could use this to, to wash a really small amount, but uh, I like to keep them all lined up if I can. Very similar to Pam's, Pam's bundle technique. This will show you though if you just want to line them up like this uh, and rinse them under the water, the amount of dirt that will come out. Now this you could do just with the tips if you wanted to, or you could do with the whole clump. Uh, tepid water, not too hot, not too cold. You don't want to shock the fiber and just let the dirt run right off it and you may find that just rinsing your tips like this or in the bundle as, as Pam suggested um, may do you just fine and that may get all that sticky material right out.